So you can be right on a topic for the wrong reason, right? Okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. So that, that's, that's not the end. So if, you, if, you're, if you worry about nation states, if you worry about, and I think some of my politics is coming out now, you worry about those types of things, and, and you're right. If you can't define and defend your border, then you're not a nation state. Right. We do need to address our work. But here's a way of doing it. Here's a simple way of doing it. If you're crossing over and you're looking for migrant work, or you're, or you're seeking asylum, we have stations. You don't have to cross the desert. You know, we understand. It's fine. Come over. We'll register you. We've got... We need work. We need work all over this country. If you're here just for seasonal work, we'll assign you a location in the country to go to. You go there, you work for your season. And then you can take the money back to um, to Mexico, whatever, or, or wherever you came from. I don't want to just throw Mexicans out here. Um, or you go back wherever you came from. We have tons of seasonal workers that come from Eastern Europe and Russia during the summer they that do. work the boardwalks, right? Exactly. So they work in the. That's uh, fine. Beach towns. Listen, it, it, short of murder, right, and a few other things, rape and, and child molestation, so you have to ask yourself why something is illegal, right? And when something is illegal, you push it underground. You don't stop it from happening. It's, it's never been legal to murder in this country, but people get murdered every day, right? So the law itself doesn't stop anything. So saying it's illegal to cross the border, but well, one, I'm not a citizen of your country, so until I cross your border, your laws don't affect But it me. wasn't illegal for us to cross into Mexico, but it was illegal for the wow. Mexicans to cross that into... That was war, that's fine. No, this oh. was... <laughs> Not that long ago. Oh, no, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, you can cross and, back and, and at night, you can walk right across. Oh, you, yeah. You could wade across the Rio Grande like Tijuana with, with a mule full of whatever. Right. Yeah. And, and But that's the thing. If you say it's bad and people feel they need to, they're going to sneak in. You're going to catch a fraction of them. They're going to sneak right. in. They're they, going to they do are, what they got to do. Listen, they, people are going they, to survive. They're very good at tunnels, and, and they know how to use a ladder. Many people I mean, are. If this becomes a dystopian thing, you're going to be the best walker to Canada you have ever that's seen. It's just symbolic. Right? I hear it's you. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop They anything. can't do every mile with a fence. So here's your Tai Chi. The, the, if you can't beat them, utilize it. Okay. Utilize it. That's the soft approach. Okay. Use you have problem. stations. Okay, so you're here. You, you don't have papers. Fine. Check in with us. We'll find out who you are. We'll do the background we'll check. we find out your... M13 or yeah, whatever MS13 or whatever. And yeah, if you're a gang member, sorry, man, we don't right. need that. And that's but easy if you want enough to, to do. Work, okay. Or if you're seeking asylum, I don't have a problem with that. You're escaping domestic violence. You're escaping a, a bad neighborhood. You're escaping anything. We do that all the time in this country. You're you're born in in a bad part of town, or you're born in a bad town, and you work your way out of it to go move somewhere else. Right? People do that all the time. It's natural. The problem is when we start thinking of these people as the others. They're not the others. They're people. Right. They're people they, like they are you people. Let's not and forget me. Them. They have the same desires, the same they wants. They want a better life. They're not even a they. We need to get that idea of the they out. These are people. They are you. They are me. But his point is, if we don't do something, they're all going to come No, they are not. Because they're that all living in dangerous myth. neighborhoods. That is a And myth. there is and no not work. Okay. Not all, but okay. a lot. Okay. We saw the, the influx. Yeah, of children. Of children. Escaping bad situations. Yes. Yeah. All right, so here's, a, here's we an went idea. To, we went to Iraq and invaded to save the country. You just answered my question for me. Why, why, it, why is South America the way it is? Because of us, our drug war, CIA intervention, wanting unstable banana republics down there, so there is no competition to the United States. That is why. Because we armed so them, we, we armed the rebels. We created the problem. We did. Send Second Marine down to the border of Mexico, use the Mexican uh, regulars, squeeze out the cartels, <laughs> crush them. Done. Now we can rebuild. We can pump a bunch of money in. To, to Mexico. They've got oil, they've got gold, and they've got agriculture. They're a great trade Cheap partner. Labor. Yeah, and well, they've got migrant labor. But if they have their own middle class, guess what they're not doing? They're not coming over here. There aren't Okay. There are not truckloads of people from Norway busting down gates to get here. So Canada isn't influxing into the United States. Good solution. Alright? Yep. So fix it at its source. Fix it. Fix it at its fix. source. It, it comes to going right back into Tai Chi principle we, we here. We broke it 
Now it's, we should fix it. Get to the root. It is the root. If you don't have your root, then you have nothing. And if you don't go to the root of a problem, then you cannot fix it. Okay. You are putting band-aids on bullet holes. You're putting band-aids. Putting oh. band-aid on bullet wounds. Gaping wounds. Yeah, that's it. That's, that, that's true. That's I, it. I agree. I agree. So from that perspective, you, you can that. My true perspective is this. And this changed this changed my life. Um, look up two things. Earthrise. Okay. Earthrise and the pale blue dot. Look those two things up. They are pictures of Earth from different locations. One being when um, the 1968 Apollo mission, I think it was Apollo 8, came around the back side of the moon and as they were coming up, they were able to take a picture of the Earth rising in the moon's horizon. It was the first picture we ever got of Earth. You see that it was blue. Yeah. We never really saw that before. Oh, and we saw the sphere. We were never and there in a position to say it. But it's just this tiny little thing, blue, right? Blue, blue dot. Now, take it 30 years, uh, 25 years into the future. And as Voyager, Voyager 1, is getting ready to leave the solar system, or leave the planetary solar system, it's passing Neptune. Carl Sagan gets the idea of turning the cameras of Voyager back towards Earth and taking a snapshot of what Earth looks like from Neptune. We're still in our star system. We're still um, local, especially cosmically speaking. We're in our solar system. Yeah, we're in our neighborhood, right? We're on our, we're on our block, right? called the pale blue dot. It was four pixels of this picture suspended in the sun. That's it. Every person, and I'm stealing from Carl Sagan here, every person you've ever heard of, every romance that ever took place, every book ever written, every language spoken, every jilted lover and verbose politician and dictator in general, and all the rivers of blood that have been spilled were so a a a, mom, a, a, a person could have control of a, of a momentary instance of time over a fraction of a dot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, you take that perspective, you take the cosmic perspective, you take the Tai Chi perspective here. Of the entire universe is one. We're all connected. And we are. No woo woo here. Scientifically, we are connected. The molecules that make you who you are, the atoms that construct you, were all forged in the hearts of stars. All of them. That fusion that's we going are made on and on. out of that. The star stuff. Those elements. And the atoms in this hand could be from a different star than the atoms in this hand. We don't know. Because the universe was a much smaller place at one time. All the chemicals that we know of came out of those atoms and were mixed on this planet. The chemistry of this planet was mixed right here. Right? Every living thing comes from DNA. We all have a, 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 a um, universal ancestor. Every living thing on this planet. A blueprint. Yeah. Comes from... Whatever that ancestor is, that little micro, whatever it was at the time, we evolved every single, the cows, the squirrels, the corn, the trees, us, all evolved from this one source. We are connected to everything in this world, living biologically, we are connected to the planet chemically, and we are connected to the universe atomically. We are a part of this. We don't, we don't live in excess of the universe or separate of the universe. Not only do we live in the universe, but the universe lives in us. So if you can't distinguish, you can't find the planet Earth from the near, you couldn't find the planet Earth in the sky if you were on Mars, the next, the next closest planet. So if you're gonna make fights and kill people and, and, and subjugate folks because they come from the, this side of the river and not your side of the river, no, that, that's all meaningless. That is petty, nonsensical stuff. It would be as if 
The skin cells on your knuckle went to war with the skin cells on your knee. And that's my soapbox. <laughs> and yet we're all different. We all Thank you for joining us for that clip of our weekly podcast. If you want to get more bonage footage or join us for the entire podcast, head on over to Patreon where our Eagle, Tiger, and Dragon subscribers get access to not only what we cast and talk about, but advanced lessons in your forms, in your Tai Chi, and in your life.